Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new day, a brand new recording. Hope you enjoy my lovely recording I got here, my new podcast. I'm glad you're enjoying this the way I'm enjoying this. This is the best possible podcast you can ever get from me and to everybody else in the world. This convict, uh, this uh, coronavirus 19 is ridiculous. A lot of people are doing a stay-at-home orders. Um... They're not enforcing it, but they're making sure everybody does orders. Only the states and the cities can do that. Um, stay home orders. Uh, that's enough power they got uh, in terms of uh, doing that uh, situation. But uh, like I said, this is a brand new m- uh, month called April. We're in the April, and this is not an April Fool's joke. A joke. This coronavirus is real. I mean, real as real it can be, folks. Um, if you want to, if you want to spend time with me on my podcast, you could do so. Uh, if you want, if you want to spend time with my podcast, you could. And I'm going to call this like anything podcast. Uh, I'm going to call it the anything podcast. So we're going to th- throw out some uh, topics for you and some names. So we're going to drop some names in the world. Some some names that need to be recognition for. Um, Oh, by the way, if you catch uh, if you catch that Madonna thing, that speech that she did in her bathtub, I don't know what uh, speech she did. She did a speech that was kind of ridiculous. Anyway, I want to say that we have in this month of uh, April, month of April. Uh, this is not an April Fool's joke. Naomi from the wrestling world, the WWE world, as they say, the wrestling world. She's on my calendar this month. Naomi is a uh, is a wrestling superstar. Uh, she's a, a young lady who wrestles in the wrestling world for quite a bit. She's kind of like that uh, Charlotte Flair. She's resembles a Charlotte Flair more than more than I can ever imagine. Uh, but yeah, she comes across as like a Charlotte Flair um, kind of a, a wrestling ability. Um, I think she's pretty good in the wrestling ring. I see her a couple of times. She's pretty good at it. And she likes to glow. She has this entrance music, kind of like dancing kind of music going on, and it's like uh, it's like the hip hop jam stuff like that. But yeah, Naomi is in the WWE world. She has this uh, entrance music. It's like kind of dancing kind of music, and it's really, really. I'm really hip to this. I really, really like it. I really, really, truly like it. Is and what's the deal with that, right? Like, what's the deal with that? Um, I just want to say to you people that keep up what you're doing out there. And these leaders around the world, it's, they're doing the Agenda 2030. The Agenda 2030. They're conjuring up the Agenda 2030. And if you guys don't know what the Agenda 2030 is, I'll mention to you here on the uh, title of it. And it will be explosive. It will be breaking news. Oh, by the way, the Juggernugger, the, uh, uh, the Juggernugger and his, uh, his life dream uh, as being – as has an office. He, has, he had an office before all the coronavirus started to happen. Uh, see, he had a big, huge office I saw on one of his videos. I kid you not, folks. He had an office ready and willing to, do, uh, to have one. And it, it was like – it was the next level of – him being where he needs to be at his life. I'm really proud of what he uh, accomplished to that point. But uh, due to uh, circumstances out of the coronavirus, everybody had to do a stay-at-home orders. Uh, that kind of kind of squanders his idea of having an office. There might be, uh, maybe in a few months that he might go back to it. But until now, they can't go into those offices because uh, they're doing the stay-at-home orders on every uh, United States and Canada. That's all. Entire United States and Canada, not locally, but nationwide and globally, they would say. Um, so it, his dream was just lost because of uh, the coronavirus. And uh, Juggernaut could just blame it on uh, on the coronavirus that uh, made his life miserable, very um, life miserable. But his, his recent video, he was on a quest. And they call it the quest. He's on a quest to find a buried treasure. He was on the quest to find a buried treasure. I don't know what that was. And he had a his uh, recent girlfriend there, and she was uh, really <laughs> – she she wanted to film the whole thing. And uh, I just saw a bit of it. I don't know how short the video was, but I saw a bit of it. And uh, I think Jesse wanted to point this out to her. And uh, – and I think it was uh, looking into the future, I think. It was kind of like looking into the future, this this very treasure. <laughs> I try to figure out what he's trying to, try to uh, you know, he's always an epic kind of guy. 
But yeah, he's uh, shown his latest girlfriend about the future. I don't know what kind of future that is, but uh, uh, he's looking into the future of his beautiful, well, soon to be married wife, uh, like my friend would say. Um, hopefully, that dream comes true to Drugganugger and his. Uh, I think it's Ashley. I think her name was Ashley. I don't know. Uh, don't get me wrong on the uh, on her name, but uh, if her name is Ashley. Um, Please let her know what her uh, her name is really is, um, but anyway, yes, they they want to look into the future, and it was really epic. Yeah, I, I kid you not. It wasn't really out to be funny or anything. It was out to be really good, and uh, and uh, yeah. So the uh, the Duggar wanted uh, her to get a camera. I think to film this damn thing, which she did. Uh, she obliged and uh, really filmed this. I mean. <laughs> I try not to laugh about it. I'm serious, folks. Uh, so he's looking. Uh, so she's looking into a very. I don't know. Uh, uh, I think it's kind of case. What do you call it? The uh, treasure thing. Anyway, anyway, this is about the future. I think Jesse was trying to indicate that it was just for the future. I mean, I could read his mind. I can seriously read his mind. This is for the future. I don't know what that future really is, to be honest. He, uh, it's not, I'm, it's just not like I'm, he's scary about it. I'm just saying he's looking at the future. So he's looking at the buried treasure of the future. <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. Sorry about laughing about it. But it, it seems so, it seems so hilarious what you think about it. But yeah, he, uh, Jesse, that's his real name. Jesse uh, wants to make it out to be Really epic in his videos. He wanted to make it really dramatic, really dramatic in length. Uh, I mean, I kid you not, folks. This is not a laughing matter. It just sometimes, sometimes you got to make it epic in your films, and he tries to do it. He tries to do it. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, at first, I didn't even know who this guy really was in the early days. I, I was, he was. I thought he was just like an ordinary guy, just vlogging out, and that's it. That's all he's going to be. Um, but he's more than that. He's more than that, folks. Uh, he accomplished a lot since the Psycho series. Um, made a big, huge movie about him and his family. I kid you not. Um, it was a, and he actually premiered at a theater, at a big, huge theater with a lot of fans there. This is a while back. This is all before the coronavirus. And uh, his closest knit friends. And I'm not trying to stitch on him, but this is all before the coronavirus. This is like, I think, a year ago. Uh, but yeah, he um, promoted his Psycho series and his very first one. Never got to the second one, but the first one he's done. And I've noticed through his videos that uh, he's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> and uh, his, <laughs> sorry, his brother, on the other hand, uh, he's laughing about it. He's really laughing about it. He's supposed to take him seriously enough. To Jesse, but the, his brother's laughing at him. I mean, why would he laugh at him? I mean, come on. Anyway, anyway, folks, uh, don't read into it. I say, folks, don't read into it. So, it, anyway, anyway, enough of that. But, uh, like I said, uh, it's supposed to be epic -y. He's supposed to make these videos epic to an epic proportion. It's very hard to do that, folks. But he makes the videos epic -y. Um And, uh... It just it's he's trying to do a storytelling. I think uh, he comes across as storytelling. He's trying to make a story happen, really happen, and uh, I, I appreciate that from him. I really do. It's like if I were in his position, I would try to make it epic -y on every video, every video that I could get my hands on. Uh, so he's trying to make the video very epic -y, and I really appreciate it in every video I see of him. And he, uh, for once in my life, he just thinks like me. I don't know why he does, but he just thinks like me. But he can't get the second uh, cycle series to go uh, to do it, <laughs> accomplish that. He tried many times. Like I said, the guy had really tried so many times, but he, he failed. He failed uh, at every turn. Uh, and I'm not just uh, laughing at him or anything. He tried his best to darn us to get this thing going uh, in the cycle series. And uh, I have to wonder why why he's not doing that. But uh, there'll be a second film to the Psycho series one of these days. And you'll hear it from me. Trust me, you'll hear it from me. Um, I just want to say for you guys, keep watching the Jug and Nugger. Uh, there's going to be some great uh, video coming out very shortly. He's the, uh, he's the creator of Storyfire, uh, kid you not. He's the creator of Storyfire along with Brian, uh, his other friend, Brian. Uh, they both... Um, or co-creators of of Storyfire. I kid you not, folks. If you want to go on Storyfire, go on Storyfire. These two people have created the Storyfire. 
to be out storytelling. The whole notion that they made this out to be this storytelling. They want to make it out to be storytelling. And uh, yeah, so folks, I'm so happy. I'm so delighted. I wish you guys were here with me. Hear me at this podcast. It's going to be the best ever. So anyway, I got to go, folks. It's nice to meet you guys.